Buenas noches. Let's continue to find the value of x if it's between 0 and 360 degrees. And um, tangent of x is equal to negative root 3 over 3. Immediately, we can probably recognize that if we hadn't actually rationalized this guy, it would be 1, one over root 3. <coughs> Sorry, I kind of uh, stuttered there for a second. Um, and uh, yeah, just to confirm here, if you're skeptical, if we multiply negative 1 over root 3 by root 3 over 3, we get negative 1 times root 3, which is just negative root 3, over root 9, which is 3. Huh. And why is that helpful? Because now we can take a look at this special triangle right here, and we have the 1 and the root 3. Hmm, looks familiar, right? Okay, and if we if we remember Sokotoa, oops, I need an H here. We will remember that tangents opposite over adjacent. So, if we have this as the opposite and that as the adjacent, then tangent of x is going to be negative one over root three, rather just positive for now, but we're going to make it negative later. Um, and what angle are we going to need here for this to be the opposite and this one the adjacent? Of course, we're going to need 30 degrees right here. Great. So the tangent of 30 degrees is equal to 1 over root 3, but positive. How can we find the negative um, the values for x if that's negative, though? Simple. All students take calculus. We know that in quadrants 2 and 4, tangent will be negative because tangent is only positive in the first quadrant, where all ratios are positive, and on the third quadrant, where only tangent is positive. Therefore, we can find the solution here as well as here. Okay. So if we have 30 degrees right here and 30 degrees right here. Those will be our solutions. However, we need to find the um, angles in standard position. And in standard position, we're going to start from here and go over there to this terminal arm. And how can we find that value? We can actually just subtract it or subtract 30 from 180 degrees. Things are getting a little bit messy here, <laughs> but uh, hopefully it will still make sense. So 180 minus 30 degrees. 150 degrees. And that's the first answer for x. 150 degrees. What about the second? Which would be this one. This angle in center position. To find it, we can subtract 30 from 360 degrees. So 360 degrees minus 30. 330 degrees. And those are the solutions. Wow, I was really disorganized today. Next time I'll keep it uh, more organized. Hopefully that made good sense. And if you'd like to see more similar videos, you can go down on this website. Thank you for watching.